And I want to say this about 26-year-old children. As a father of four, and I have three kids under 26 years old, they're old enough to take care of themselves. They don't need the nanny state coming in. I have raised them to be responsible. At the age of 21, I expect them to go out and get their health care. You know, the average age, I think, in Vietnam was 19 years old. World War II, probably the same. And we have soldiers in harm's way all over the world who can take care of themselves, but we're saying, but come home to mommy and daddy, we'll take care of you until you're 26 years old. Gentleman's time has expired from Connecticut. I remind the gentleman from Georgia that the taxpayers pay for Congress's uh, health insurance uh, as well, and any children that we have are covered under our, our health insurance. Uh, and uh, we are in a rarefied air in that regard. We have health insurance, as Mr. Miller pointed out. We go to the head of the line if there's anything wrong with us. That is not the case for millions of people in this nation, and that's what the other side of the aisle would like to continue, that millions of people will not have the same kind of health care that we in the United States Congress have. And with that, let me yield a minute to the gentlewoman from California, Ms. Katz.